So now let us discuss Pure Mathematics 3, paper P32, November 2021. So question number 1. Find the value of x for which 3 times 2 power 1 minus x equal to 7 power x. Give your answer in the form uh, long natural logarithm a over natural logarithm b where a and b are integers so take uh, the given equation exponential equation that is 3 times 2 power 1 minus x equal to 7 power x this uh, 2 power 1 minus x can be written as 2 times 2 power minus x so that is again when you simplify 3 times 2 is 6 so 6 over 2 power minus x can be written as 1 over 2 power x. So apply that here you get 6 over 2 power x equal to 7 power x. So that's next step you get 6 equal to 7 power x times 2 to the power x. And uh, so when you get a power n b power n law of exponent says a b to the power n. So apply this uh, law of exponents you get uh, 7 times 2 that is 14 to the power x next step so that is 14 to the power x equal to 6 taking log on both sides natural logarithm on both sides you get uh, log natural logarithm of 14 power x equal to log of 6 and use uh, power rule of logarithm log a power n is nothing but n times log a so that gives ln of uh, x times ln 14 equal to ln of 6 through x is equal to ln of 6 over ln of 14 the next question solve the inequality modulus 3x minus a greater than 2 times modulus x plus 2a where a is a positive constant so write down the inequality squaring on both sides you get 3x minus a the whole square greater than 2 square times x plus 2a the whole square now use identity a minus b whole square and a plus b whole square a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square and a plus b the whole square is algebraic identity a square plus 2ab plus b square so use these two identities here on the left side and to the right side you get uh, and expand it you get 9x square minus 6ax plus a square is greater than 4x square plus 16ax plus 16a square now move all the terms to left side you get 5x square minus 22ax minus 15a square is greater than 0 so you factorize uh, uh, this quadratic uh, inequality so you get uh, 5 times 15 a square is negative 75 a square so that is uh, minus 25 a plus 3 a that gives minus 22 a that is the x coefficient and for the divide by 5 the coefficient of x square so you get a fraction this one with the help of that we get product of factors so minus uh, 5 times x denominate 5 times the denominator times x plus numerator so 5 times x plus 3a and x minus 5a are the two factors which is greater than 0 so it's inequality find the critical values by equating each factor to 0 you get x is equal to minus 3a over 5 and x is equal to 5a therefore the solution is uh, since it is greater than 0, it's a U-shaped quadratic uh, curve, the parabola, with limits of minus 3a over 5 and 5a. Since it is greater than 0, it's above x-axis. So x-axis y equal to 0, this is y greater than 0 is above. So above the x-axis, the points on the curve lies either less than minus 3a over 5 or greater than 5a. So that's the solution here. X is either X is less than minus 3a over 5 or X is greater than 5a. And next one is complex number question. Given the complex numbers u equal to a plus ib and w is equal to c plus id where a, b, c and d are real, prove that u plus w conjugate 
are equal to u conjugate plus v con w conjugate. So the conjugate of u plus w is equal to conjugate of u plus conjugate of w. So u is a plus ib, w is c plus id and so u plus w is given by a plus ib plus c plus id and collect all the real terms and the imaginary power terms separately you get a plus c plus i times b plus d therefore its conjugate is u plus w star that is conjugate of u plus w is a plus c minus i times b plus d the now conjugate of u is a minus ib and conjugate of w is c minus id therefore Conjugate of u plus conjugate of w is a minus ib plus c minus id. Once again, collect the real terms and imaginary terms. You get a plus c plus sorry minus i times b plus d. When you look at this, keep this as equation two and the earlier one equation one. So comparing equation one and two, we observe that the conjugate of u plus w is equal to conjugate of u plus conjugate of w. Hence the result and b subdivision solve the equation z plus 2 plus i the whole conjugate plus 2 plus i times z equal to 0 giving your answer in the form x plus i y so write down the equation given equation let z equal to x plus i y take c as uh, the complex number as x plus i y and substitute for z you get x plus i y plus 2 plus i the whole conjugate plus 2 plus i times x plus i y equal to 0 and that is collect uh, real part separately and imaginary part you get x plus 2 plus i times y plus 1 the whole conjugate in this expand the bracket here 2x plus i times 2y plus i times x plus i square y and next step you replace this i square by minus 1 you get uh, x plus 2 minus i times y plus 1 this conjugate we have taken the conjugate now so here it is plus so the conjugate becomes minus plus 2x and the i square y becomes minus y plus i into x plus 2y equal to 0 so once again this expression you collect all the real terms together and the imaginary text together you get uh, x plus 2 plus 2x minus y that's the real terms and the imaginary terms are i times y plus 1 and x plus 2y equal to 0 so further simplify the terms and with the real and imaginary parts we get 3x minus y plus 2 plus i times x plus 2y minus y minus 1 that is 3x minus y plus 2 plus i times x plus y minus 1 equal to 0 you got uh, a plus ib form and since the right side is 0, if a complex number is 0, then both real part equal to 0 and imaginary part is also 0. So that gives here 3x minus y plus 2 equal to 0 and x plus y minus 1 equal to 0. So name these equations as 1 and 2. So you get uh, 3x minus y equal to minus 2, name this as 1. x plus y is equal to 1, name this as 2. So solve it, you get... Uh, just add it you minus y plus y get cancelled you get 4x equal to minus 1 so x is equal to minus 1 over 4 and substitute in any one equation in the above one of the two equations you get y is equal to of course 1 minus x is simpler equation so substitute for x so 1 minus of minus 1 by 4 is plus 1 by 4 that's equal to 5 over 4 therefore your z is negative 1 over 4 plus 5 over 4 i and fourth question express 4x square minus 13x plus 13 over 2x minus 1 times x minus 3 in partial fractions now before applying the partial fractions you should check the degree of the polynomials on both numerator and denominator here degree of the numerator is 2 and the degree of the polynomial in the denominator is also 2 because 2x times x 2x square is also 2 if the degree are same, first you divide it, divide the polynomials. So 4x square minus 13x plus uh, uh, 13, that is the uh, dividend. So divisor is the denominator, 2x square minus 7x plus 3. So you get uh, 2 as the quotient first. So 2 times 2x square becomes 4x square 
and this one gives minus negative 4 and this 3 gives plus 6 and again subtract you get uh, x plus 7 is the remainder therefore the uh, division given division of the polynomials 4x square minus 13x plus 13 over 2x minus 1 times x minus 3 can be written as quotient plus remainder over divisor so you get in this form now consider only this part alone and so name this equation as 1 we'll take it later so 2x plus 7 x plus 7 over 2x square minus 7x plus 3 equal to x plus 7 over write the denominator as product of factors and then write it as split it into partial fractions so you get a over 2x minus 1 plus b over x minus 3 this step so name this as equation 2 therefore and cross multiply across the equal to sign the next step you get a times x minus 3 plus b times 2x minus 1 over 2x minus 1 x plus 3 now equating the numerator on both sides you get x plus 7 equal to a times x minus 3 plus b times 2x minus 1 equation 3 so now let us uh, use arbitrary substitution method to find the values of a and b so input x is equal to 3 in equation 3 you get uh, 10 is equal to 0 so 3 minus 3 0 the first term becomes 0 second term is uh, 2 times 3 is 6 minus 1 5 so b 5 so 5b is 10 therefore b is equal to 2 and input x equal to 0 in 3 you get left side 0 plus 7 that is 7 equal to a times 0 minus 3 is minus 3 plus b times 2 times 0 minus 1 that is minus 1 so you get this step next step is 7 equal to negative 3a plus 2 times substitute the value for b just now we found so 2 times minus 1 that is minus 2 therefore 3a is equal to minus 7 minus 2 that is minus 9 therefore a is equal to minus 3 so negative 3 so substitute the values of a and b in equation 2 in the partial fractions so we get uh, uh, x plus 7 over 2x square minus 7x plus 3 is equal to negative 3 over 2x minus 1 plus 2 over x minus 3 so substitute back this partial fractions in equation 1 you get the given fraction of polynomials is equal to 2 minus 3 over 2x minus 1 plus 2 over x minus 3 that's the uh, answer in partial fractions so the question number 5 read the question on a sketch of an organ diagram share the region whose points represent complex numbers z satisfying the inequalities modulus z minus 3 minus 2i less than or equal to 1 and imaginary part of z greater than or equal to 2 so take so write down modulus of z minus 3 minus 2i less than or equal to 1 so you rewrite in the form modulus of z minus of a plus ib so it can be written as z minus of 3 plus 2i less than or equal to 1 so less than or equal to r this means it represents a circle with center a plus ib and radius r units so therefore it is a circle with center at 3 plus 2i and the coordinates are 3 comma 2 and radius 1 unit so let us sketch the curve so an x axis that is uh, real part of z and y axis is imaginary i y imaginary part of z so you name scale with one unit 1 2 3 4 on the real part of z and the x axis and on the imaginary part of uh, z i 2i 3i 4i so the center here it is 3 plus 2i and with radius 1 unit you draw a circle 
and the second part is imaginary part of z greater than or equal to 2 so draw a line through 2 to uh, i parallel to uh, the real axis so that is nothing but the line represents imaginary part of z equal to 2 or uh, that is i y is equal to 2 so now the all the points common to this that is within the circle and above this line is nothing but the shaded region now to second part of this question b part find the greatest value of argument of z is it for points in the shaded region giving your answer in degrees so the greatest value of argument of is it now coming back to the diagram we draw a tangent from the origin to the circle and so that is the point where it touches the circle that is a point which makes the greatest argument or the maximum angle that can make uh, with the x-axis or any other point if you draw take any other point and connect with the origin the angle will be less than that one because that's why the point at which the tangent from the origin uh, touches the circle on the left side not here not on the downside on the above side on the top side so what is shown on the diagram OA so that point A is the point which makes the greatest uh, angle with the real axis or that's the greatest argument now we need to find the angle XOA or AOX so now we split that into two parts so join from O to the center of the circle OC so now we have taken that is angle XOC as theta and AOC as phi ok and this diagram we get a, a, a rough diagram of that one here so easy for us to take down the uh, measures so let's see uh, 3 comma 2 be the center of the unit circle uh, you name that as C and in triangle look at the diagram this, the same diagram I just uh, only this part which contains the angle is uh, redrawn here so we want only we need to find theta and uh, phi so these are the values OB is 3 because the coordinate of uh, C is 3 comma 2 the horizontal length is 3 and the vertical length is 2 so OB is 3 and BC is 2 therefore by using Pythagoras theorem OC is under root 13 so under root 13 and tan theta now we can apply tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent side that is 2 over 3 so theta equal to tan inverse of 2 over 3 that gives 33.7 degrees ok next you take the triangle OAC in that we have the opposite side and also the hypotenuse because uh, AC is the radius perpendicular tangent to OA therefore it is 90 degrees that is OAC is 90 degrees it is a right triangle so from that sin theta is opposite over hypotenuse gives you sin phi uh, sorry sin phi is equal to 1 over under root 13 so phi is equal to sin inverse of 1 over root 13 is equal to 16.1 so angle phi is 16.1 therefore the maximum argument is nothing but theta plus phi so 33.7 plus 16.1 gives you 49.8 degrees so this is how you have to solve in finding the greatest um, value of the argument of z or the maximum angle uh, the point on the circle the common area uh, mixed with the x-axis so the shaded area this is the point which makes the greatest angle that is the point a okay so that's with question uh, next question six using the expansion of sin 3x plus 2x and sin 3x minus 2x show that 1 by 2 times sin 5x plus sin x is congruent to sin or identically sorry identically equal to sin 3x times cos 2x okay so we need to prove this uh, identity you take uh, sin 3x plus 2x is 
there is a formula sin a plus b so addition formula of trigonometry is sin a plus b is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b and also sin a minus b is sin a cos b cosine b minus minus cos a sin b so we make use of this so sin 3x plus 2x is equal to sin 3x that is this is your a and this is your b so sin a cos b sin 3x cos 2x plus cos a sin b that is cos 3x sin 2x name this as equation 1 same way sin 3x minus 2x can be written as sin a cos b that is sin 3x times cos 2x minus cos 3x times sin 2x name this as 2 you add these two equations you get sin 3x plus 2x plus sin 3x minus 2x is equal to see this uh, the last two cos 3x times sin 2x and so the plus and minus they get cancelled when you add it so you get only sin 3x cos 2x 2 times so 2 times sin 3x times cos 2x Therefore, in next step, you just add and subtract the arguments. 3x plus 2x is 5x. So, sin 5x plus sin 3x minus 2x is sin x. So, sin x, sin 5x plus sin x is identically equal to 2 sin 3x times cos 2x. Therefore, this 1 over 2, you move it to the left side or divide both sides by 1 over 2. You get 1 over 2 times sin 5x plus sin x is congruent or identically equal to sin 3x times cos 2x. Okay, that's com that completes the proof. We have shown that. The next B subdivision of this question, hence show that integral 0 to 1 over 4 times pi sin x sin 3x cos 2x dx is equal to 1 over 5 times 3 minus under root 2. So take the integral and we, we, have, we can use the result in part A that is sin 3x times cos 2x sin 3x times cos 2x is equal to 1 over 2 times sin 5x plus sin x. So this product of terms, we write it as sum of the terms by applying the condition we proved in part A. So now there are this. Now we can integrate it. So take one over two outside, since it is a constant multiplying with the rest of the terms that can be taken outside the integral. Now you integrate sine five x when you integrate minus cos five x over five, and then plus sine x when you integrate minus cos x between the limits 0 and pi over 4. Now substitute the limits and uh, so upper limit minus lower limit then sine cos 5 pi over 4 is negative 1 over root 2 and cos pi over 4 is 1 over root 2 and cos 0 is 1 so you get uh, this value Uh, sorry this 5 is missing cos 0 over 5 okay so that's why negative 1 over 5 here and minus 1 and so cos 5 pi over 4 is negative 1 over 2 you can use your calculator to find this value so when further when you simplify you get uh, all these simplifications the algebraic uh, uh, numeric values are there so you simplify it and you get uh, negative uh, root 2 over 5 plus 3 over 5 so that is 1 over 5 times 3 minus under root 2 so that's the final answer and you simplify the values of cos pi over 4 and cos 5 pi over 4 and cos 0 cos 0 is 1 so next question the variables x and y satisfy the differential equation e power 2x times dy by dx is equal to 4 times x times y square it is given that y is equal to 1 when x is equal to 0 solve the differential equation obtaining an expression for y in terms of x 
so you need to find y in terms of x okay it's a differential equation write down the differential equation given equation and separate the variables y on one side x on the other side so y on the left side and x on the right side you get uh, dy over y square is equal to in sorry integral dy over y square is equal to integral 4 times x times e power minus 2x dx so e power 2x on the left side when you move it to right side it uh, becomes 1 over e power 2x that is e power minus 2x so now we integrate so 1 over y square is y to the power minus 2 dy integral equal to 4 is multiplying with the rest of the terms so can be taken outside the integral it becomes inter 4 times integral x times e power minus 2x dx so y power minus 2 when you integrate you get integral y power 1 dy is y power n plus 1 over n plus 1 so here n is negative 2 so you get y power minus 1 over minus 1 so that is again can be written as negative 1 over y is equal to 4 times integral x times e power minus 2x dx name this as equation 1 now consider the right side integral let it be i1 so consider i1 is equal to integral x times e power minus 2x dx so let us apply integration by parts to solve this integral uh, take the algebraic function as u x is u and the remaining part as dv e power minus 2x dv this is how the form u dv so when you integrate integration by parts is uv minus integral v derivative of u so we need to find the derivative of u from u u is x so du is derivative of u is dx and dv is e power minus 2x dx so integrate you get v equal to integral e power minus 2x dx that gives e power minus 2x over minus 2 that is minus 1 over <coughs> 1 over minus 2 times e power 2x so now we got uh, u v and derivative of uh, u so substitute use this formula you get u times v that is x times negative 1 over 2 e power minus 2x minus integral v that is uh, 1 over minus 2 e power minus 2x dx derivative of u if there is dx du becomes dx further when you simplify rearrange the terms and integrate that integral so you get uh, this step that is minus 1 over 2 x times e power minus 2x plus this minus into minus plus there is a minus outside and there is a minus in 1 over minus 2 so it becomes uh, negative times negative is positive so plus 1 over 2 and integrate e power minus 2x dx you get e power minus 2x over minus 2 so once again you get uh, this 1 over minus 2 times e power minus 2x plus c so next in the next step you get this this step so this is uh, minus 1 over 4 e power minus 2x second term okay so we need to find the value of c now so uh, okay substitute this in in 1 so from 1 you get negative 1 over y is equal to 4 times so substitute i1 in 1 equation 1 4 times minus 1 over 2 x e power minus 2x minus 1 over 4 e power minus 2x plus c so the c is uh, arbitrary constant so it has uh, no meaning when you take 4 c it's again it's a c only so whenever there is an arbitrary constant um, so it is unaltered when you multiply with any constant a particular value or value or divide it it's unaltered so name it as c only so to get that c now you apply the given condition given y is equal to 1 when x equal to 0 so substitute that for y and x you get negative 1 is equal to 0 minus 1 plus c that gives c equal to 0 therefore your uh, that the above equation becomes negative 1 over y is equal to e power minus 2x times minus 2x minus 1 take that uh, minus outside and you get cancel there is a minus on the left side also you can you can cancel that and you get 1 over y is equal to e power minus 2x times 2x plus 1 that is one that is one over y so we want y take the reciprocal so you get uh, e power 2x over 2x plus 1 y is equal to e power 2x over 2x plus 1 that's it next question question number 8 
By first expanding cos square theta plus sin square theta the whole square show that cos power 4 theta plus sin power 4 theta is identically equal to 1 minus 1 over 2 sin square 2 theta. We need to prove that first expanding it. So use the identity a plus b the whole square is a square plus b square plus 2, a, 2 times a times b 2ab. So use that here a is cos square theta b is sin square theta. You get cos power 4 theta plus sin power 4 theta plus 2 times cos square theta sin square theta. So a is cos square a square becomes cos power 4 theta and the left side cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. So that is 1 square is identically equal to cos power 4 theta plus sin power 4 theta then this square so a square b square can be written as a b the whole square. So we have applied this uh, uh, law of exponent here. So cos square theta sin square theta becomes cos theta sin theta the whole square. So that's the next step, second step. Next step 1 identically equal to cos power plus four, cos power 4 theta plus sin power 4 theta plus 2 times you this cos 2 theta and sin 2 theta we can apply the trigonometric uh, double angle formula sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta so it's uh, so we have seen from sin a plus b a equal to b equal to theta gives sin 2 theta that gives 2 sin theta cos theta therefore sin theta cos theta is sin 2 theta over 2 that's what this step this term means we have replaced the above term with it with this using this identity or oh, sorry this one this double angle formula so next step you get uh, so sin 2 theta over theta whole square is 1 over 4 times sin square 2 theta and this uh, 2 and 4 you get cancelled 1 over 2 you get this 1 over 2 here the next 7 square t theta and uh, so therefore cos power 4 theta plus sin power 4 theta is equal to move this term to the left side so 1 minus 1 over 2 sin square 2 theta. So this is what uh, we need to prove. So we have proved that cos power 4 theta plus sin power 4 theta is identically equal to 1 minus 1 over 2 sin square 2 theta we proved it. So next uh, B subdivision hence solve the equation cos power 4 theta plus sin power 4 theta is equal to 5 over 9 for theta from 0 to 180 degrees cos power 4 theta plus sin power 4 theta is equal to 5 over 9 and just now we proved this is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 sin square 2 theta so substitute that one from part A equal to 5 over 9 therefore and move this uh, minus 1 so this gives 1 over 2 sin square 2 theta is equal to 1 minus uh, 5 over 9 okay you just uh, move the right side and this to left side you get this step and simplify this right side right hand side you get uh, 4 over 9 therefore 1 over 2 sin square 2 theta is equal to 4 over 9 next next step you get uh, so this 1 over 2 you multiply both sides by 2 to cancel this 1 over 2 on left side. So you get sin square 2 theta is equal to 8 over 9. Therefore sin 2 theta is under root 8 over 9 that is equal to 2 root 2 over 3. So plus or minus. So let us take 1 by 1. Sin 2 theta is equal to negative 2 root 2 over 3 or sin 2 theta is equal to positive 2 root 2 over 3. Therefore, 2 theta is equal to sin inverse negative 2 root 2 over 3 and this, this equation gives 2 theta is equal to sin inverse of 2 root 2 over 3. So, let us take 1 by 1. 2 theta is equal to sin inverse of negative 2 root 2 over 3 gives negative 70.5 and by symmetric property, symmetry of the curve that is uh, you get 180 sin theta is equal to sin 180 minus theta that is a symmetric property of uh, 
sine curve so that gives 180 minus of minus 70.5 gives 250.5 then since 2 theta is there 2 theta or 4 multiples of theta is there we can also use periodicity so that also comes within the limit the final answer so that means add theta with 360 degrees that is called periodicity adding 360 and multiples of 360 represents the same angle uh, the ray, ray rotate it it remains in the same position so you can use this periodicity uh, this we can use when the theta has multiples of theta 2 theta 3 theta etc so that 2 theta is negative 70.5 250.5 and 289.5 therefore theta now divide all the angles over 2 therefore theta is equal to negative 35.25 125.25 okay so you can uh, round it to one decimal place the um, degrees so that's your theta values so these are one set of values now take other uh, uh, value theta so other value of the theta that is sine 2 theta is positive 2 root 2 over 3 so 2 theta is equal to sine inverse of 2 root 2 over 3 plus so that gives 70.5 and by symmetric property you get of the sine curve you get 180 my second angle is 180 minus 70.5 by periodicity you get 70.5 plus 360 degrees so when you simplify you get t theta is equal to 70.5 109.5 430.5 Therefore, theta is equal to divide throughout by uh, every angle by 2, you get 35.25, 54.75, 215.25. 2, so, you can get uh, 3 values rounding to 1 decimal place. Theta is 35.3, 54.8, and 215.3 degrees. But the range of values of x are theta. Uh, it's theta, right? Theta gives 0 and uh, 180 degrees so between 0 and 180 therefore now you collect uh, the angles which lies in this range so here 125.3 and 144.75 uh, or 8 is one angle then here 35.5 54.8 therefore four values are there for theta which lies in the given range of values of theta so that is 35.3 54.8 and 125.3 144.8 okay 7 so that uh, completes the answer for this question